Hi, it's Cory, and today you're gonna learn how to play Love Me Do by The Beatles. All this month, we're gonna really be highlighting a lot of Beatles tunes, not only because they're awesome, they've really lasted the testament of time, and also they are really adaptable to be able to use both picking patterns, licks, but in addition to strumming patterns. To start though, we're gonna be starting with easier songs and then progressively get a little bit more difficult throughout the course of the month. I'll also have a lot of videos though out on Wednesdays, which are more of my skill-based video days that will help you conquer these songs as they come up and get progressively more difficult throughout the month. To start though, we're starting out with one of the first Beatles songs, Love Me Do. This song is really easy to play and only has five chords in it, and there's actually a way that you can make it even easier that I'll tell you about in just a little bit. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that way you're always notified whenever I have a new tutorial or music video that comes out. Also, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram because I post all the time there, and a lot of times it's new content or it gives you kind of sneak peeks of what's about to come out. And if you're interested in the lead sheets at all for this song or any of my other tutorials, all of my resources and lead sheets can be found on my Patreon. All of that additional information though is all in the description box, so make sure to check that out. All right, well, let's get started. First things first, make sure your ukulele is in tune. That's gonna be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. Today I'm gonna to be using the Red Enya Nova U Concert Ukulele. If you're at all interested in checking this out for yourself, I have a full review of it, and I'll make sure to have it linked down in the description box too. Today, the chords that we're gonna need for this song are some of the most basic ones, which is really great, so you probably already know them, but if not, here's how you play them. The first chord is gonna be the C major chord, so for that one, you're gonna take your third finger and then place it on the first string, third fret. Next is the D major chord. This is gonna take place all on the second fret here. You're gonna use your first finger, place it on the fourth string, then your second finger is gonna go on the third string, and your third finger is going on the second string. You'll also need an F major chord. For that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the first fret, second string, and then taking your second finger and placing it on the second fret, fourth string. Next is gonna be the G major chord. For that, you're taking your first finger and then on the second fret, placing it on the third string. Your second finger is gonna go on the second fret, first string, and then your third finger is gonna go on the next fret down on fret three on the second string. And finally, we are using a G7 chord. For that, you're taking your first finger, placing it on the first fret, second string, then your second finger is going on the second fret, third string, and then your third finger is going on the second fret, first string. Now, if you're looking for something just even slightly easier, you could just replace the either the G7 or the G with each other in the song. We're gonna be using both during the playthrough, but if maybe using both of them is a little bit too tricky for now, you could play either all on the G anytime you see a G7, or you could just use the G7 for all of them too. Ideally though, it's using both of them. That way you can get the right color and the feel for the song. For this song, we're gonna be using one strumming pattern throughout the entire song, and that is a down, down, up, up, down. Slower and played on the G chord, it's down, down, up, up, down. So I'm using my pointer finger. I think it's a lot easier to be able to strum up on the pointer finger, but if you're still only using your thumb, which is totally fine too, you could still do that same strumming pattern with down, down, up, up, down and that's totally fine. For the playthrough, I'm going to be taking it up to the next level though and adding a chuck. All I'm doing here is it's using the same strumming pattern, but I'm replacing my down strums after the first down strum with a chuck. So down, down, up, up, down becomes down, chuck, up, up, chuck. Listen to that one one more time. Down, down, up, up, down, and then it becomes down, chuck, up, up chuck. So like I said, it's the same thing. I'm just adding that chuck on every down strum after the first one. 
pretty much throughout the entire song, we're gonna be maintaining that strumming pattern throughout, except for at the very, very end of our chorus or hook part. And that's when we get to the, so please. And as you can hear, I'm gonna add an extra up, down, pause, and then finish out with love me do. And then continue with the strumming pattern. Listen to that one more time. So please love me do. So you can hear I'm adding that extra pause and they do that in the song as well and it gives a little bit more of a dramatic effect. Of course, if any of this is too difficult for you, you can always start out by just playing on the chord changes. That means you're going to play with a down strum just when the chord changes. So the beginning of the song would sound like this. Love, love me do. You know I love you. So you can hear all I'm doing is strumming down when the new chord happens in the song. If that's a little bit too easy and you're still not ready for the strumming pattern, then play on the beat. That would sound like this. Love, love me do, you know I love you. After you've played through it maybe on the chord changes, then moving up to on the beat, then add the strumming pattern without the check, and if you're able to do that mastery and still sing along, then try go for the check. If you don't know how to make the check, I do have a video all about how to check on the ukulele, and you can find it in the cards. All right, but with all that, you have all the pieces you need. If you still are a little confused, watch the playthrough. It'll kind of put all the things that we talked about together, and it'll probably make a little bit more sense to you. But at the same time, if you're not able to do it right away, don't worry. Start with mastery of the chords, then break it apart with just the strumming patterns, and then try to add them slowly over time. But let's give it a go with the playthrough. One, two, here we go, and. during the outro and just continue playing. I continued to sing a little bit and then got quieter and then just like continue to play until I eventually got to a G7, but it's totally up to you what you wanna do. You could just end it on the C and that's totally fine too. If there's a particular Beatles song that you are absolutely a huge fan of, check out my other videos that I've already have out. I've done a couple Beatles songs over the past year, so it might already have a tutorial for you, but otherwise 
I will try to make a tutorial or it, one might be already planned for coming out. So make sure to comment down below, give this video a like if you found it helpful, and I'm so excited for the rest of this month playing the Beatles songs with you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.